It's his 20th three of the season. Yeah, had 18 in the last game against Portland. He looks to be part of the shorter rotation that Borrego has out there. Oh, what a nice spin, but no finish for Hassan. Jones Jr. right there for the putback and the foul. First score for Derek Jones Jr. It's Derek Jones Jr. finding a way to get open, goes underneath the board there, and then comes out. Cavaliers with a one-point lead. Just under four minutes left, first quarter. Derek Jones Jr. in the game. There he is, puts it in from Wade, a left-handed score for Derek Jones Jr. I love how hard he plays and the stints he plays. Cavaliers forcing the turnover. Clarkson, we saw the last shot. He comes off the bench. Number three score in the league off the bench. Derrick Jones Jr. just punched that ball out of bounds. Callum Sexton tried to score it. Jones said, uh-uh. Not in here. Went up for another dunk. We saw him get one earlier, but Jones so quick and so long. Met him at the rim. He obliterated that shot by Sexton. Dwayne Wade, who played 46 games with Cleveland last year. Average 11 points a game before they dealt him to Miami. Well, Derrick Jones Jr. has done it again. Spanked the shot of Staskis into the seats for Jones Jr. That's his second block of the first half. And Derrick Jones Jr. snaps the outlet to Wade. Here he comes, right at Staskis. In that zone, just three on the shot clock as Staskis unloads and misses. And Winslow with a rebound in traffic. He has nine rebounds in this game. His season high is 11 rebounds. Jones Jr. will pull up and stick it. Five points for Derek Jones Jr. and a timeout for Larry Drew and the Cavaliers with a heat ahead by a dozen. Nice pullback dribble, Winslow off target. Jones missing, getting it back. Magruder for three, kaboom! Rodney with a nine point fourth quarter, including back to back triples. Three and a half minutes left. They eat ahead by 17. Derrick Jones Jr., kaboom! Why not? 23rd triple this year for the third year man out of UNLV. A 20-point lead and a steal by Richardson. Joe Jr. Yikes, that came flying back to Richardson. Boy, they just transitioned so quick from the defense to the offensive end, though. Had numbers again. Raptors did three on two there. That gets them the one-man up advantage in the score. Double on Dragic. Nice pass by Hassan. Oh, the Heat took advantage of the double near midcourt. And Whiteside delivering a very crafty assist to Jones Jr. Not the big fella. No look pass to his left. He continues to grow and mature as a passer with a two hand crusher here to Jones Jr. Look at him looking at his hand right there. Wade kicks it off to Derek Jones Jr. Magruder buries a triple. And they've really feasted on the Southeast Division with. After today's result, they'll go to 12 and 2 against the Southeast, 7 and 1 on the road against the Southeast. Oh my! Play of the day for the Heat. Derek Jones, a cloud piercer. Unbelievable! He had to throw that in because yeah. it was off. The pass was away from the basket. That was unbelievable. His 45th dunk of the season, one to remember. Wow! They got to get another look at that tremendous athletic dunk from Derek Jammin Jones Jr. Let's take a couple looks here. Bam throws it a little wide and he has to crank back. Watch how he doesn't dunk it. He's throwing it in. He just spiked that ball in. How does that go in on that angle? If he doesn't throw it in perfectly, that hits the back of the rim and goes flying about 15 rows into the crowd. That was uncanny finish. Look at that athleticism. That's amazing. Oh, my. And Catching it on the right and finishing with your left is awkward too. He's rearing back. His head is up above the bottom of the backboard there. Wow. Even Sir Isaac Newton would be confused by that. A gravity defined <laughs> play by Derek Jones Jr. That's a three ball for Dion. He rings it up. Well, Wayne Ellington. He said he was looking for a team, instead of being a rental, a team that he would have a chance of signing with long term at season's end. 
Jones Jr. buries it from downtown. First score of the game for Jones Jr. His 24th triple this season. Nice driving kick action there by Rodney McGruder and Derek Jones doing the right thing, spreading the floor, staying in that corner where he can be valuable as a catch and shoot player there. Dragic for three. Yes. When he can spin back to the middle, that is his favorite move in terms of footwork and timing. That left spin back to the middle with a right hand finish. Richardson for Jones Jr. It's a jamathon. Party time in Miami for real. Just tremendous athleticism. He's going out on the break. It's the defense getting them out with numbers. Hassan says, give me a little more. And the Pistons hadn't won two games in the Heat's house in a single season since the 07-08 season. It's 101 to 7, 313 to play. Waiters. Kaboom. And the last time the Pistons lost consecutive games by at least 28 points, you got to go all the way back to November 1977. I was still running around Ithaca College. <laughs> Taking classes. <laughs> Bringing home straight B's, John. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> 32 seconds left in the game. But John, the Heat have not lost a game this season when they've held the opponent under 40% shooting. I think this will make Miami 11-0 when they hold the opposition below 40%. Jones Jr. That wasn't clean, but he did hammer it down. Heat ahead by 15. Ten minutes left in the first half. Dragic gets by Lopez. Swings it back. Jones Jr. Sneaks it in the white side, who's able to score. He put that right through a needle. Seven for white side in five minutes off the bench. He also has four boards and a block. Here's Bledsoe. A white side made him turn it over. Hassan white side, that is a one man detour. Dragic back to Jones Jr. Well, the Heat executing so efficiently on the offensive end. Timeout to the Bucks with a Heat in front by 19. Yeah, 12 assists right now on 19 made field goals. Miami at 56% shooting. It's just tremendous sharing of the basketball. Bucks closest they have been in the second half. Closest they've been since early in this game. Here comes Miami in a run out. Jones Jr. Missing on the reverse, getting it right back and hammering it down. I'll meet one of the NBA's most underrated dunkers. Put another highlight me, Derek Jones Jr. Treasure Trail. Oh, he is elite with that athleticism. Bam blocks Meritage with under a minute left in the game. Slammed in by the slamming machine, Derek Jones Jr. 113 to 98. But Toom gets a step. Did not get the slam. Great deflection at the last instant by Jones Jr. Five and a half left, first quarter, low scoring. Good defense against Batum. Here's Richardson. Olenek. Jones Jr. open. Kaboom. Now who'd have guessed it? Derek Jones Jr. first heat to triple on their seventh collective attempt. Here's Hassan against Marvin Williams. Deep, but missing. And Kemba Walker will race it back the other way. He'd have missed 15 of their first 20 shots. Derek Jones sending it back on Kemba Walker. Bacon's pass. Finds Lamb. Whiteside got a piece of it. And Olenek deflects it out of bounds. The Heat defense has been suffocating on Kemba Walker, who's trying to shake free. Denied by Derek Jones Jr. on the fadeaway. Williams was right in the seam in the middle of that 2-3 zone. That's the vulnerable area. He can't let that interior pass happen there. Oh, that's a good job on both ends. Excellent defense by Batum and a better job of shot making by Derrick Jones Jr. He's still in the 2-3 zone. Batum missing the three out of the corner. 
Hornets get another rebound, another chance, and Walker misses from downtown. They will get another opportunity. No, they won't. Jones Jr. with a steal. And then Lamb steals it right back. It's more than just winning a division title. For Miami, Charlotte, and Orlando, it may be the only way to make it to the playoffs. The Heat, Hornets, and Magic all in the same Southeast division. Nice block by Derek Jones Jr. against Kemba Walker. By the way, Dion Waiters, a.k.a. Philly Cheese. Today's his 200th start of his NBA career. He's now gone 20 consecutive games with at least one triple. There he is again. Dion does it. Three times four in this quarter. Remember, Wade helped torture them back in 2012 when the Heat won their second NBA championship. Wade off the slides by Dennis Schroeder. 17-6, Thunder lead with four and a half minutes left in the first quarter. The cutting goes! Jim and Jones Jr. does it again, forcing the Thunder into a timeout and electrifying those here in OKC. Nobody jams it like Jones Jr. It's a really nice drive action. Gorn finding the cutting Jones. No one picks them up, and it's airplane mode. In fact, Olinick, Adebayo, and Waiters are all scoreless. Richardson's only two points have come from the free throw trip. It's the bench. It's Jones Jr. Both arms extended off a great inbounds lob from Dragic. A royal flush for Derek Jones Jr. That's his second gorgeous slam of the game. First score for Marquise Morris, who was traded from Washington, New Orleans on February 7th, cut the next day, and signed a few days later by the Thunder. Derek Jones Jr. puts it in with a left hand. Well, his movement without the ball and his ability to finish with it really catches your eye. There's a seven-point heat lead. Jones Jr. against Paul Drew. Eight on the shot clock. Jones Jr. Oh, nice crafty move. The way he changed the position of the ball to finish. Six assists for Dragic. His three-point shooting is opening up the lane. Meanwhile, that last foul on Steven Adams was his fourth. Derrick Jones Jr. with a one-handed steal. Going to his left. Leans in and misses. 